Good morning. I went out and got myself a bodega sandwich. I also went to Starbucks. Got myself a cup of coffee and got Kylie a uh, impossible breakfast sandwich. Tell me what that's like. Good? No. Tastes like meat? Yeah. And then this is just a regular um, sausage, egg, and uh, cheese on a roll. The classic New York bodega breakfast sandwich. So on the schedule for today is um, ramen, unique low, bubble tea, bubble tea, more ramen, bookshops, bookshops for Kylie. Oh yeah, nice and wet. Bookstore haul. Bookstore haul. Yeah, bookstore haul. Let's just show us the your favorite item, their best find. Um, this I have never seen them selling this anywhere. They're not online. I mean, if they're online, they're like a million thousand dollars. Never seen it in a store. It's not on any of the websites, and it's only twenty five dollars for this whole thing. That's wow. really good. Nice. It's twenty five years of this. And you got you got the last one. James Hewlett is my all time favorite artist. And look what I found, just randomly walking around. Sun Tzu, Art of War. I'm <laughs> probably never gonna read that. Yeah, you have to eat this fresh. Yeah. All right, we'll take a quick bite. Just to... Just to taste it fresh. <gasps> Ooh, it sliced right through it. What the heck? I think I have that right there. This is cheesecake? Mmm. That's so... It's like air. It literally just like disappears. It's like cheesecake, cotton candy. Mmm. It just disappeared. Wow. That's so good. That's good. But you could like destroy that whole thing. I could eat this whole man. thing in one sitting and still be hungry. Okay, let's go get some ramen. Okay. We have about an hour and 45 minute wait to eat here. But it's worth it. I, I came here to eat ramen and that's what we're gonna do. It's drizzling again. Hi guys, welcome. Thank you. That is a cool camera thing. <laughs> Thanks. <there. laughs> I'm gonna have the Tokyo show you. Show you. Yes, I'm. I'm doing a show you theme. So. Oh, good. Well, we're glad you're on, we're on your list. Yeah, I, you know, I've been I've been wanting to come here for a long time, but this this first time I've been here, so Great. I'm Sounds excited. Good. I'm well, excited. welcome. We're Thank happy you. to have you. Thank you. Oh yeah. 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 Yummy. What are those pickles? For the shoyu, for the shoyu competition. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you need. Enjoy. Oh, wow. Ah, 
is yours. Good? Let me see this. Ooh. It's nice. All right, noodle time. Noodle time. Perfect. Big pizza chashu in there. Look at that. Jeez. Mmm, that's good. How's your mukbang going so far? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I like to push these into the soup. Get some flavor. Get that flavor in there. Look at that. Mm. I like it. How they do their scallions. It's all shredded. I love that. This one's less fishy than Mr. Taka. And the soy flavor is a lot more deeper. It's deeper, it's more pronounced, it's, yeah, you can really taste the soy, but in a good way. That's better? Kylie likes her. Wait, you got katsu, you didn't get katsu curry over there though. This is curry. This is basically Japanese curry. I know, but I'm just saying, anything better than here, I don't know, I didn't have a good experience at the last place. Kylie really likes it here. It's a good katsu. Let me try these pickles. Mm. I like pickled stuff, but I don't like pickles. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're spicy. Oh, I like this. I like those pickles. It's really crispy. Mm. Crispy and good. Mm. Where are we going after this? That? I want to rest my stomach for a minute. Okay. Nappy time. And then Uniqlo. Wait, we're going back to the hotel then Uniqlo? Okay. It's on the way. Okay. So what do you think, Kylie? I like the people there. They were nice. And they were nice. <laughs> like nice Kylie people. really liked the people? I like nice people. Yeah, they're... I do not like people. I like nice people. workers. Yeah, they were, they were really Especially nice there. Especially in New York where they can be really nice. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. The the atmosphere was cool. It was a cool vibe. Yeah. You know, it's not not like a traditional ramen shop, but it was good. It was cool. It was a cool vibe. Art. It was fun, and the food was amazing. The ramen amazing. Good vibe. Great vibes. We just finished shopping at Unique Low. Uh, got some stuff for Alyssa's graduation. Look, a puppy. Hey, the puppy. But the um, cool thing was that since we spent over $100, we got a Japanese snack box. Baksu. Yeah, this is the name of the company. But hey, cool. They gave us some free snacks, so we'll try it out when we get back to the hotel. So, sweeties. Nice little random snacks. Choco snack. Nothing salty. It's all sweet snacks. Maybe. This might be salty. Okay. I like this one. Oh. It looks like a, some kind of skin, but it's probably a rice snack. Like looks like chichiron. That's probably it. yeah. It's it's probably yeah. It's a, a rice cracker. The entire time I'm thinking that we were in the Soho area and we're not actually, we're in the Lower East Side, which is kind of bordering the Soho area. 
I really like the proximity of all the ramen shops here. There's lots of really nice ramen shops in the Lower East Side. And right now we're headed to Nakamura. I was trying to decide between that and Ramen Ishida, but bouncing back and forth between the two, I decided on Nakamura because of the ambience I heard is really cool. So this place is really small, but I dig the ambiance. It reminds me of, you know, classic Tokyo style ramen shop with obviously an American twist. But check this out, you can see the Williamsburg Bridge right from this window. Alright, so I'm starting it off with this sake omakase. Three different kinds of sake, just little glasses, just a taste. We got a red. Nagumi red, sweet gay, Nagumi blue. Kylie is having yuzu soda, choy, sour. It's yuzu and lime, ah, so it's like a sour spray. Sour. Okay. okay, let's go with the red first. That bad? It's very dry, a slight, slight sweetness, um, tiny, tiny hints of rice in the background because you know it's sake. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna go right down the line here. The suige next. Sweet, suige, suige, suige. How do you say that, guy? Oh, this one's definitely a little bit different. It's kind of floral. Not as sweet as the red. Mm. Oh, already? Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's pretty amazing. This is an eatable size. Is it? Yeah. Look at that. She got a little tiny mini bowl. That's a normal bowl. Right there, that looks good too. Wow. We're not wasting any time here, Kylie. I'm going right in. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can really, that's a lot more chickeny. The chicken flavor is way more pronounced. Taste some ginger in there too. Little tiny notes of ginger. But yeah, that chicken flavor is just up the charts. Okay. Can move that to the side so we can get to work on this noodle. Oh, nice, nice, nice noodle. Look at this beautiful noodle. Mm -hmm. Very chewy noodle. Mm. Very light, light soy flavor. I like this chicken. Look at that. Interesting. It's like a grilled chicken. Grilled chicken thigh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some to mine then. After I. Mm. Trying to make my way towards cats, I'd like to get to go water.
I was gonna take these home and eat them tomorrow, but uh, they're sitting over there on the counter and call out my name, so I have to crack it open and try out this sandwich while it's still fresh. I love Reuben sandwiches. And this is the Reuben sandwich to get. Forget about it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's the best Reuben sandwich I've ever had. I definitely don't think I can finish this sandwich. These things are huge. I hope it tastes good tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap it up and stick it in the fridge. My car, my van has been christened by, by New York City graffiti artists. <laughs> nice.